This video will cover the topic, finding solutions in an interval for a trigonometric equation in factored form. When it comes to solving problems of this type, it is important to remember that to solve an equation in factored form, such as x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0, we find the values of x that make either factor equal to 0. So when it comes to finding solutions in an interval for a trigonometric equation in factored form, we are finding values for x that make the equation equal to 0. Only now, our factors in our equations will include trigonometric functions. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Could we try out an example problem? Yeah, definitely. This problem is asking us to find all solutions of the equation in the interval 0 to 2 pi for the equation cosecant x minus 1 half times 2 sine x minus square root 3 equal to 0. Our first step is to set each factor in the equation equal to 0. This shows that we will want to find values of x that will make cosecant of x equal to 1 half and sine of x equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 on the interval 0 to 2 pi. Remember that cosecant of x is equal to 1 over sine x. It's also important to remember that on a unit circle, the x value corresponds to the cosine function at a certain radian value, and the y value corresponds to the sine function at a certain radian value. Looking at the unit circle, we will see that there are no values along the interval 0 to 2 pi that will make 1 over sine x equal to 1 half. Sine of x is equal to square root of 3 over 2 when x is equal to pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So our solution to our equation is x is equal to pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. Would you like to try the next problem? Sure. Here we have a problem asking us to find all solutions of the equation in the interval 0 to pi for the equation sine x minus square root 2 over 2 times tangent x plus 1, which equals 0. Looking at this equation, I know that I want to find values for x that will make sine x equal to square root 2 over 2 and tangent x equal to negative 1. Looking at the unit circle, we can see that sine x equals square root 2 over 2 when x equals pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. We also know that tangent x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x. So since tangent x has to be equal to negative 1, we want to find values for x where either negative sine x equals cosine x, or negative cosine x equals sine x. Looking at the unit circle, we can see that negative sine x equals cosine x when x is equal to 7 pi over 4, and negative cosine x equals sine x when x is 3 pi over 4. So the answer to this problem is x equals pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4, right? Almost. The value 7 pi over 4 is not inside the interval 0 to pi, so the final answer will be pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4.